When you talk about cities salivating for the greatness of a quarterback, I mean, damn it, we might as well say, we, we might be able to say Boston wish they had him too. I'm talking about the one and only Aaron Rodgers. And you know where I'm going with this. I tried to tell y'all again. I'm going to say it because evidently people have a hard time listening to me and understanding me where I'm coming from when I say this. He's a bad man. Woo! This brother's on another level. I'm just trying to tell you something. I'm just trying to tell you something. If, 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 listen, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. I tried to tell y'all. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, let me full disclosure, let me confess that I almost shed a tears last night. I almost cried. When Aaron Rodgers went down in the second quarter, and he was grabbing that knee, and he had to be wheeled off of Lambeau Field. I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought the season was over. I really, really did. I said, it's over. He's not coming back. It's over. The season is over. The Green Bay Packers are absolutely positively nothing without him. And this season of championship aspirations has been reduced to rubble in the blink of an eye. And then Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, when he got wheeled off, Deshaun Kaiser formerly of the Cleveland Browns, was a turnover waiting to happen, was absolutely god-awful, almost got Hugh Jackson fired last season. He was so awful. He comes up in there. There's a strip sack by the hands of Khalil Mack. There's also a pick six by Khalil Mack. Listen, Khalil Mack just signed nine days ago. He's clearly not in football shape. But there's a reason this four-time All-Pro who made an All-Pro team both as a defensive end and a linebacker There's a reason why the Bears gave up two first-round picks to get him. There's a reason why the Bears were willing to give this money, this brother the money they were willing to give him. There's a reason that everybody should have their eyes on John Gruden as we speak in Oakland, California. You can't pick up the phone and call the Mac Daddy himself, Khalil Mack. You can't sit up there and use your salesman-like approach, your motivational tactics to see what you can do to convince this dude to stay in Oakland. When approached by reporters, I believe it was Chris Collinsworth, but I'm not sure. And Khalil Mack was asked if more of a concerted effort had been made to reach him and to have a conversation with him and to say, look, we want you here in Oakland, come hella high water, and ultimately Las Vegas, come hella high water. We want you as a part of the silver and black. And we're going to do everything we can to take care of you. Would that have made a difference? Khalil Mack said yes. He said yes. And the fact that he said yes is all that we should need to know. But it didn't go down that way, y'all. It didn't go down that way. And as a result of it not going down that way, you see what we have before us. What we have before us is a situation right now where Oakland, who knows what's going to happen, Khalil Mack and that Chicago Bears defense is no joke, but they went up against the baddest man on the planet. And let me be very, very clear. Aaron Rodgers does not have Tom Brady's resume. Aaron Rodgers does not have five rings. Aaron Rodgers does not have eight trips to the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers is not, resume-wise, what Tom Brady is. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I'm stepping that that far out on a limb when I say to you that I believe that I truly believe in my heart of hearts that Aaron Rodgers is the greatest talent at the quarterback position I've ever seen. 39-yard touchdown pass to Geronimo Allison, another 12-yarder to Devontae Adams, a 75-yarder when he zipped in a ball over across midfield to Randall Cobb, who scampered 75 yards for a touchdown, helping the Green Bay Packers overcome a 20-point deficit, 20 to nothing, the largest deficit overcome by Aaron Rodgers in his career. And the Green Bay Packers ultimately upset the Chicago Bears 24-23. You can call it an upset or you can choose not to. But in the end, if you're the Chicago Bears and you got a 20-point lead with that defense, you are not supposed to lose that game. But Aaron Rodgers is a bad brother. He is something special. And as a result, 
The Green Bay Packers are 1-0 on the season.